Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him, and he will make your paths straight. Proverbs 3 to 5, 6. Have you ever felt lost, unsure of which path to take in life? Do you find yourself at crossroads, uncertain of the next step? In these moments, it's important to remember that God is always there to guide us. His plan for us is perfect, and if we trust in Him completely, He will lead us every step of the way. Surrendering to God's will is a profound act of faith and trust. It requires us to let go of our own desires and plans, and instead, submit ourselves fully to God's perfect plan for our lives. This act of surrender is not a sign of weakness, but rather a demonstration of our belief that God's ways are higher than our ways, and His plans are always for our good. Jeremiah 29.11 When we surrender to God's will, we acknowledge that He is the ultimate authority in our lives. We recognize that His wisdom far surpasses our own, and that He knows what is best for us in every situation. This acknowledgement requires humility and a willingness to set aside our own desires in favor of God's perfect plan. Surrendering to God's will also involves trust. We trust that God is faithful and will always keep His promises. We trust that He will lead us on the right path and guide us through life's challenges. This trust is not blind faith, but rather a confident assurance in the character of God, based on His past faithfulness. Ultimately, surrendering to God's will is an act of love. It is a declaration that we love God above all else and that we are willing to follow Him wherever He may lead. In this act of surrender, we find peace, joy, and fulfillment, knowing that we are walking in alignment with God's perfect plan for our lives. Seeking God's guidance through prayer is a foundational practice for those who desire to align their lives with God's will. Prayer is more than just a request for God's intervention. It is a profound act of intimacy and trust. When we pray, we engage in a conversation with the Creator of the universe, laying bare our hearts and minds before Him. In seeking God's guidance through prayer, we acknowledge our dependence on Him. We recognize that He is the source of all wisdom and knowledge, and that apart from Him, we can do nothing. John 15-5 Prayer is an expression of our faith as we trust that God hears our prayers and will answer them according to His will. Prayer also opens our hearts to receive God's guidance. As we spend time in prayer, we quiet our minds and listen for the still, small voice of the Holy Spirit. Through prayer, God often speaks to us, providing insight and direction for the decisions we face. Furthermore, Prayer is an act of surrender. When we pray, we submit our desires and plans to God, inviting Him to guide us according to His perfect will. This act of surrender requires humility and a willingness to trust that God's plan is far better than anything we could imagine. In summary, seeking God's guidance through prayer is a transformative practice that deepens our relationship with God and aligns our lives with His perfect will. Through prayer, we open ourselves to God's wisdom, guidance, and direction, trusting that He will lead us on the path that leads to abundant life. John 10.10 10. Listening to God's voice is an essential aspect of the Christian faith, yet it can be challenging in a world filled with noise and distractions. To hear God's voice, we must cultivate a heart that is attuned to His presence and a mind that is receptive to His guidance. One of the primary ways God speaks to us is through His Word, the Bible. The Bible is more than just a collection of ancient texts. It is the living Word of God that speaks directly to our hearts and minds. When we read the Bible, we open ourselves to God's voice, allowing Him to speak truth and wisdom into our lives. God also speaks to us through the Holy Spirit, who dwells within us as believers. The Holy Spirit gently nudges us guiding us in the way we should go. However, to hear the Holy Spirit's voice, we must be willing to listen and obey. God also speaks to us through the counsel of wise mentors and fellow believers. God often uses others to speak into our lives, 
providing guidance and encouragement when we need it most. By surrounding ourselves with a community of believers, we create space for God to speak to us through them. In conclusion, listening to God's voice requires intentionality and a willingness to be still and quiet before Him. As we cultivate a heart that is receptive to His voice, we will find that God speaks to us in profound and transformative ways, guiding us in the path of righteousness and leading us into a deeper relationship with Him. Obeying God's Word is not merely about following a set of rules. It is about aligning our lives with His perfect will. The Bible teaches us that God's Word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Psalm 119-105 When we obey God's Word, we are guided along the right path, avoiding the pitfalls and dangers that come from straying away from His commands. Obeying God's Word requires humility and a willingness to submit to His authority. It means acknowledging that God's ways are higher than our ways, and His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. Isaiah 55-9 When we obey God's Word, we demonstrate our trust in His wisdom and guidance. Furthermore, obeying God's Word is an act of love. Jesus said, If you love me, keep my commands. John 14, 15. When we obey God's Word, we show our love for Him and our desire to honor Him with our lives. Obeying God's Word also brings blessings. The Bible is filled with promises of blessings for those who obey God's commands, Deuteronomy 28-114. When we obey God's Word, we experience the peace, joy, and fulfillment that come from living in alignment with His will. In conclusion, obeying God's Word is essential for the Christian life. It is through obedience that we demonstrate our love for God, experience His blessings, and walk in the path of righteousness. As we strive to obey God's Word, may we do so with humility, love, and a desire to honor Him in all that we do. Trusting in God's timing can be challenging, especially when we are faced with difficult circumstances or waiting for prayers to be answered. However, the Bible assures us that God's timing is perfect, Ecclesiastes 3.11, and that He makes all things beautiful in His time, Ecclesiastes 3.11. Trusting in God's timing requires us to have faith that He knows what is best for us. It means letting go of our own timelines and agendas and surrendering to His plan. This can be difficult, especially when we are impatient or when things are not going according to our plans. However, when we trust in God's timing, we can rest assured that He is working behind the scenes, orchestrating events for our good. Romans 8.28 Trusting in God's timing also requires us to be patient. The Bible tells us that those who wait on the Lord will renew their strength. Isaiah 40.31 as we wait on God's timing, we can find peace and strength in knowing that He is in control. Finally, trusting in God's timing requires us to have hope. Even when things seem bleak or when it feels like God has forgotten about us, we can hold on to the hope that He is still working in our lives. God's timing is not our timing, but it is always perfect. As we trust in Him and wait for His timing, may we find peace, strength, and hope in knowing that He is faithful to His promises. Walking in faith is a journey of trust and obedience. It is about believing in God's promises and stepping out in confidence even when the path ahead is unclear. The Bible tells us that without faith, it is impossible to please God. Hebrews 11-6 When we walk in faith, we demonstrate our trust in God's goodness and faithfulness. Walking in faith requires us to trust in God's plan, even when it doesn't align with our own. It means surrendering our desires and ambitions to God and allowing Him to direct our steps. Proverbs 3 to 5, 6. This can be challenging, especially when God's plan seems difficult or when it requires us to step out of our comfort zones. However, when we trust in God's plan, we can be confident that He is leading us in the right direction. Walking in faith also requires us to be obedient to God's Word. Faith without works is dead. 
James 2.26, so we must not only believe in God, but also obey his commands. This obedience is a demonstration of our faith and a reflection of our love for God. Furthermore, walking in faith requires us to persevere in the face of challenges and trials. The Bible tells us that the testing of our faith produces perseverance, and perseverance leads to maturity and completeness in our faith, James 1 to 3, 4. As we walk in faith, we can trust that God is using every trial and hardship to strengthen our faith and conform us to the image of Christ. In conclusion, walking in faith is a journey of trust, obedience, and perseverance. It is about believing in God's promises, obeying his commands, and trusting that he is leading us on the path to abundant life. May we walk in faith, trusting in God's goodness and faithfulness every step of the way. Finding strength in God's presence is a source of comfort and courage for believers. The Bible assures us that God is with us always, and his presence is a place of refuge and strength. Psalm 46-1 in moments of weakness or distress, we can find strength by drawing near to God and seeking His presence. One way to find strength in God's presence is through prayer. When we pray, we invite God into our circumstances, laying our burdens before Him and seeking His wisdom and guidance. In His presence, we find peace that surpasses all understanding, Philippians 4-7, and strength to face whatever challenges lie ahead. Another way to find strength in God's presence is through worship. When we worship God, we focus our hearts and minds on His goodness and greatness, reminding ourselves of His power and faithfulness. In worship, we are reminded that God is in control and that He is worthy of our trust and praise. Additionally, finding strength in God's presence involves spending time in His Word. The Bible is a source of encouragement and hope reminding us of God's promises and his faithfulness to fulfill them. As we meditate on his word, we are strengthened in our faith and empowered to overcome any obstacle. In conclusion, finding strength in God's presence is a powerful way to navigate the challenges of life. By drawing near to God through prayer, worship, and his word, we can find the strength and courage we need to face whatever comes our way. May we always seek His presence and find strength in Him alone. Reflecting on God's past faithfulness is a powerful way to strengthen our faith and trust in Him. Throughout the Bible, we see examples of God's faithfulness to His people, from the Israelites' deliverance from Egypt to the countless miracles performed by Jesus. These stories serve as reminders that God is faithful and that He keeps His promises. When we reflect on God's past faithfulness, we are reminded of His power and sovereignty. We see that nothing is too difficult for Him, and that He is always in control, even when circumstances seem bleak. This knowledge fills us with hope and confidence, knowing that the same God who has been faithful in the past will continue to be faithful in the future. Reflecting on God's past faithfulness also helps us to trust Him more fully. When we see how God has provided for his people in the past, we can trust that he will provide for us as well. This trust allows us to surrender our worries and fears to him, knowing that he is able to handle them far better than we ever could. Furthermore, reflecting on God's past faithfulness encourages us to be obedient to him. When we see how God has blessed obedience in the past, we are motivated to continue following his commands knowing that he will honor our obedience with his blessings. In conclusion, reflecting on God's past faithfulness is a powerful way to strengthen our faith, trust, and obedience. As we look back on his faithfulness, may we be filled with hope and confidence, knowing that the same God who has been faithful in the past will continue to be faithful in the future. Embracing God's plan for your life is an act of surrender and trust. It requires letting go of your own desires and agenda and allowing God to lead you in the direction he has planned for you. The Bible tells us that God has a plan for each of us, plans to prosper us and not to harm us, 
plans to give us hope and a future, Jeremiah 29.11. When we embrace God's plan for our lives, we align ourselves with His perfect will and open ourselves to His blessings and guidance. Embracing God's plan requires us to trust in His wisdom and goodness. It means believing that God knows what is best for us and that His plan for our lives is better than anything we could ever imagine. This trust is not always easy, especially when God's plan differs from our own, but it is essential if we want to experience the fullness of life that God has promised us. Furthermore, embracing God's plan requires us to be obedient to His Word. God's plan for our lives is revealed to us through His Word, and it is up to us to follow His commands and guidance. This obedience is a demonstration of our faith and a reflection of our love for God. In conclusion, embracing God's plan for your life is a transformative decision that requires faith, trust, and obedience. As you surrender your plans to God and embrace His plan for your life, may you experience His blessings and guidance in abundance.